guys, I have an absolute wild story for you. Some first time things just happened at the Ponderosa. It involves the bison, Jackie, a savage 243, and one wild little critter I've been trying to get for a long time. I hope you're ready for it. Surprise the heck out of me. <laughs> pig is roaming with the bison. I'm not going to be able to shoot right now. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Jackie, got to keep Jackie back. This pig is literally hanging out right there with the bison. Right there between that H brace. See moving? So I cannot get a shot right now with all these bison around. But I'm afraid if we pull up more, we're about over 100, 150 yards away. Jackie's here. Jackie typically goes ahead of me. But that white pig is right up here. I'm afraid if we go closer. I might just throw Jackie in the truck real, real quick. She usually rides. Come here, Jackie. Hey, girl. Hang out in here for me just a little bit. Oh my gosh, that pig is actually migrating with the bison. Let's see if we can pull up a little more. Oh, hey, Jackie. He's making a little mood. Oh, he's gonna go right in between them. Bison are looking around going, what in the world is that? Oh man, he's literally right between them. What in the world? He's not gonna give us much of a chance. Oh my gosh, this is wild. literally out there with the bison and they don't like it. I'm not going to be able to get a shot in between there. I'm just going to keep easing up a little bit until he notices. Maybe I can get an angle if he heads back to the woods.
I think I'm missing. I just uh, I'm a little frustrated because <laughs> I feel like I'm always a pretty good shot at the 243. And that's not being overconfident and cocky. I've had that gun since I was 14. Kevin bought it for me. Uh, I shot my first deer with it, first hog, coyote, everything with that gun. And um, the way he acted when I shot him uh, told me that I missed him. And so you get that gut feeling you missed an opportunity, Dusty. You've been hunting this thing. He's been tearing up the field. We've got Daniel, my brother-in-law from Arms Family Homestead, ready to come over, bring his trap, because we have a hog issue here at the Ponderosa, which we never really had before. I've never seen a hog at the Ponderosa. And uh, I went ahead, did my job, you know, took care of my chores, I rolled out some hay to the bison real quick, got that taken care of. And uh, I pulled down here basically. So he ran across this pond here and uh, right before I knew he was about to exit, I knew he was gonna go south, I, I said that um, because this is where he's been coming out of and I've been seeing a sign. Uh, he ran across our pond right here behind me down along the water, along the bank. And then he took off right over this dam and he was headed south because he's living in these woods here. This is my neighbor to the south. And uh, I said, well, he's gone for sure. So I just pulled down here. Eleanor, she followed me. <laughs> She's looking for her special cubes. These mamas are waiting on Eleanor to get her special cubes. <laughs> the, these mamas have figured out that Eleanor is our special one and gets the, gets the uh, special treatment. And so they've been following her around, me around, because they know what she gets. So we'll wait till they leave. And then we'll get Eleanor some cubes because if they hear the sack, they freak out. So anyways, uh, let's walk down here and see if I can see anything. If not, it is what it is. I missed him. I failed. And uh, YouTube has seen it. I mean, missed a shot first time. Well, I shot a coyote last year. You got that on camera, but say hi to our princess. She's down here following me. So um, I'm going to go ahead and walk this way before they come up close to me. And I'm exposed out here in the pasture. Oh, looky here. I thought I missed. I thought I missed. He's right here, right across the fence. Oh, man. I knew. I was like, this is a perfect shot. I have everything lined up in between the bison nothing there's a hill behind us here he is let me uh he's back over there let me hop over my new fence and let's go take a look at what we got here yes yes yes, yes. all right so over the fence now i'm on the back of the pond i think this is where he ran of course see some tracks there's eleanor there's my truck bison i just fed And here we go. Finally. Been trying to get the guy. Well, we got our piggy. Also, another highlight is it's a nice little buck rub right here. So this is not my property. I, I know the guy. I'm sure he wouldn't care if I found a, a pig and ran over here. But uh, we've got our piggy down right here. So that's our property on that side of the fence. I built him and I a brand new fence last summer. So this guy has been living over here and destroying our pasture because there's not much for him to graze on in here so he goes to the open field naturally where they go and uh been catching this dude on camera finally done so i know i don't show a lot of that hunting stuff on my channel things like that i shot a coyote last year that was up near the barn and uh it's getting really close to the barn actually and then we have lots of critters up there. And uh, anyways, no, I don't show that stuff very often, but if you wanna know what these guys do, you can look up any, you can search any video on what wild pigs do. And here in Oklahoma, obviously they're here and uh, we get lots of the damage. I mean, there's little stuff like that, but they'll tear up your fields. This guy 
couple of them I think I've caught on camera have been tearing a lot of these greener areas up where our winter grass is growing where the bison like to graze in the same spot as the pigs <sighs> coincidentally and I've been catching them on camera and uh Eleanor's still waiting on her cubes but those guys are very invasive they can have like three sets of pigs a year uh it's crazy they br they breed like cats almost and they can have so many pigs and if you don't get a control of them they will rip your field up and so if the hogs are ripping the fields up that's taking away grazing land for the bison that's they destroy the grass they destroy the soil um you know they may aerate it out a little bit but they do destroy stuff and the bison lose grazing ground and farmers have issues with them and all kinds of stuff uh we're just ranching bison but they can do a lot of damage and especially if you don't manage them uh the way i just did or anybody else in this area does um i'm pretty sure the season on these guys is 365 days a year on your own property um anyways so i'm gonna give this girl some cubes and uh we're gonna move on <laughs> Pig down, maybe one or two more to go, we'll see. So I'm just trying to be super quiet here. Girl. Eleanor, hey. right here. Eleanor, here. There you go. I'm trying to be quiet if I get the bag out and shake it. They'll figure it out, so got a girl taken care of and we got a pig down i'd say so far a good morning <laughs> oh dang easy big boy you see that pig hanging out with you you had a wild pig grazing with you isn't that different kind of different definitely never seen that before a wild pig grazing with the bison never thought i'd see that hey buddy I gave you some cubes this morning so I can get to the gate. Hey, hey, I gave you some cubes. There's no way you smell that feed sack in here, do you? Huh? Big Joe. All right, buddy. Hey, that pig won't, that pig won't uh, put any more damage on your pasture, okay? We got him. You got some hay in your hair, buddy. Sorry, I don't have any. I already gave you some. Oh, better roll out, buddy. So what's wild is, of course you saw it, is whenever I pulled up, he was out here. He was over here, kind of where behind the trees, and I saw something different. I wasn't sure if it was a deer or what, coyote. Because I've seen coyotes hang around bison, but basically I parked, I came down the road here, I parked right here and stopped and I mean, probably right at maybe 75 or 100 yards away when I was able to get him. And he was literally out here just roaming up and hanging out with the bison, grazing with them or messing with them. I'm not sure. Uh, those animals carry diseases too, and I doubt that they can um be transferred to bison but you never know i'm sure there's those type of questions will come up uh when if you guys leave any comments about diseases that could spread 
to bison but uh he he wasn't grazing this area very much at all um but <laughs> this is the area that he was roaming i'm not sure where i, I got him of course but i want to say it was somewhere in this area you can tell this is an area where we we rolled out hay and you see lots of poop here so which is i'll, I'll roll it in, in in lower spots where the bison have hit the grazing hard so we have uh we don't have a lot of grass right there and so i like to roll hay out in these areas and then they poop here and then we can come back and harrow it later on and break some of this poop up but with the sort of warmer temperatures we're still getting some breakdown but not a whole lot um so shouldn't be any um micro microbiology going on here um with the poop because it's too cold uh, but we'll come back and harrow this and we can protect some of the runoff here you can see some muddy spots where they've been walking up and down the fence but rolling out hay will slow that down and hopefully get some of this these nutrients and fertilizer from eroding away but oh this is where i got him right here here it is just found it maybe yeah i don't see any more you know, this is where I got him for sure. I saw that he acted kind of funny whenever I shot him. He didn't take off initially. And then he took off and I was like, crap, I missed him. So there's his little trail a little bit. Died a little bit. So got him in the lungs. Oh yeah, I look at all of them. They're probably coming in. They like to come to our ponds and hang out if it's either this pond here where that hog right over here up in the front uh they saw me and detoured sorry guys okay i'm gonna walk out here i'm gonna show you what these this one hog or maybe one or two that i've caught on camera has been doing so here's some hay that's been rolled out this is some of his work but look at the damage here okay so i mean he's rooted out three or four inches of the top layer of soil that organic uh soil horizon at the top layer and completely got into this the bison have come through and trampled it some but flips the soil up and over and this is what's left and, and it'll be like this for a while look at all this see all this dead grass here this was green and he's flipping it up or it may be some hay so don't get me wrong it may be some hay but look at the ruts that these guys are, are doing look at that yeah they're way down in there and this is just one or two pigs imagine a whole group of them coming through here and wiping these areas out just one or two pigs is doing this and he's coming out here every night every, or in the morning and doing this this stuff all right here is what's wild so much damage and it doesn't take a lot of time now he's done some of this this is not as fresh because i haven't caught him he's been going under the fence i have my little bait station up i got it ready for my brother-in-law to come bring the trap we may do it because i'm pretty sure there's a couple more he's been working under here under the fence which is fine and clean under the fence you can see right there he's done some damage but all this is him right in here or them so imagine if there's a whole litter of them coming through doing this damage not today not anymore for the white pig these days are over no more grazing with the bison they didn't like him of course they are kicking him around <laughs> 